In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question, check if it is a straight line. So the problem statement is given an array of coordinates and each coordinate contains two values x and y where x and y represent the coordinate of a point. So we have to write a code to check if these points make a straight line in the xy plane and also coordinate contains no duplicate point. So uh, let's see a few examples. So in the first example, if we plot uh, these coordinates in an x y plane then it forms a straight line so we return true so the answer is true and in the second example if we plot uh, these coordinates in an x y plane then it it does not form a straight line it forms something like that so it's not form a straight line so the answer is false so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem we can solve this problem by using this mathematical property. So if the slopes of lines formed between each point and the first point are equal, then all those points are collinear, lie in a straight line. So that means if the slope between point 1 and 2, point 1 and 3, point 1 and 4 and so on are equal, then it means all these points lie in a straight line. So we can use this property to solve this problem. The formula of calculating slope between any two point x1, y1, x2, y2 is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So this is the formula for calculating a slope and using this formula, let's see all these points. Let's validate all these points lie in a straight line or not. So let's first calculate the slope between this point and this point. So uh, here is the code for that. So here the x1 and y1 coordinates. So this point, so x1 is 1 and y1 is 2 and slope is not calculated yet. So initial value is null. Then I'll run a loop from this point to till this point. And in x2, y2, I put this point 2 and 3. And uh, this is the important condition. So if x2 minus x1, we calculate. So the uh, formula for calculating slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we ensure that if the value of x2 minus x1 is 0, so we can't divide anything by 0. It will throw an arith arithmetic exception. So we returns, we simply return false. Else, if, if the slope is not calculated yet, so we calculated the slope and we move to next iteration so we don't have so we uh, we compare the slope between this point and this point so first we need to calculate the slope between these uh, this point so once the slope is calculated then we calculate the slope between this point and this point then we are able to compare whether uh, these two slopes are equal if it is equal then calculate the slope between this point and this point so uh, like this so that's why uh, we uh, move to next iteration so here we calculated the slope and the slope is 3 minus 2 and 2 minus 1. So if we divide, so the answer is 1. And in next iteration, we reach at this point. So the value of x is 3 and the value of y is 4. Then we reach at this statement and this statement is false. Then we reach at this statement and this statement is also false. We already calculated a slope between these two points. Then we reach at this point and we calculate the slope and between 4 minus 2 between this point and this point. So this is the y2 and y1 and then x2 minus x1 and 2 divided by 2 which is 1. So both the slopes are equal so this condition is skipped so till now till this point uh, these three these three points lie in a straight line so let's verify the fourth point now we calculate the slope between this point and this point so in next iteration we pick this coordinate so the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 5 again this condition is false this condition is false and we calculate uh, the slope between this point and this point so here 5 minus 2 and 4 minus 1 so 3 divided by 3 which is 1 again till now till this point uh, all the points lie in a straight line then we calculate the slope between this point and this point so we pick this point and 
so the value of x is 5 and the value of y is 6 again these two conditions are skipped and we reach at this point so the value of y2 is 6 and the value of y1 is 2 the value of x2 is 5 and the value of x1 is 1 5 divided by 5 which is 1 so we have verified this point also uh, this point lie in a, uh, this point is also lie in a straight line then we move to this point and so in next iteration the value of x is 6 and 7 y is 7 these two conditions are skipped and here we calculate y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 5 divided by 5 which is 1 again this condition is not true and we move to next iteration and so this condition is not uh, so we run this loop until uh, so coordinates dot length minus one so we came out of this loop and we return true it means all these points lie in a straight line so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o n and its space complexity is o one we are using constant space so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video